Edward Gets Messy, brought to you by the AMN Healthcare team, written by Rita Mead and illustrated by Olga Stern. Edward Gets Messy. This is Edward. Edward is a very particular pig. He detests dirt. He fears filth. He likes things to be just so. Edward never gets messy. Each morning before school, Edward irons his perfectly clean clothes. Then, he tidies his perfectly tidy room until there's not a speck of dust in sight. He vacuums his perfectly sparkling goldfish tank with a special underwater vacuum. Edward is very happy with being very clean, but it's hard work to stay that way. Edward never pets friendly dogs on the street. He never, ever eats food that spills or splatters, and he never, ever, ever uses markers or glue sticks or paint. They are just too messy. It sure isn't easy being a particular pig. On the way to school one morning, Edward's friends jump in a big pile of dirty leaves. Crunch! But Edward doesn't get messy. He walks on the sidewalk. In Edward's science class, the baking soda volcano erupts into a spraying flow. Boom! But Edward doesn't get messy. He sits at the back of the room. At lunchtime, everyone else at Edward's table eats spaghetti and meatballs. Slurp! But Edward doesn't get messy. He eats a plate of steamed broccoli. On the muddy field outside, Edward's classmates play a game of baseball. Squish! But Edward doesn't get messy. He stays in the stands. Edward has stayed clean for most of the day. Now there's just one class left, gloop. The art teacher gives out paper and paint. Once again, Edward doesn't get messy. He straightens up the supply shelf, but something goes wrong. Plop, oh dear, splat, oh dear. To his surprise and his horror and through no fault of his own. Edward gets messy. Edward is distraught. Edward is devastated. Edward doesn't know what to do, but wait. Hmm. The next day at school, Edward helps the science teacher with her experiments. Out on the muddy baseball field, Edward gets a hit and slides into second base. And on the way home from school, he jumps into the big pile of leaves. Edward is no longer afraid to pet friendly dogs on the street or eat food that spills and splatters. And he happily uses markers and glue sticks and especially paint. Because now Edward knows that it's okay even for particular pigs to get messy. After all, they can always clean up afterward. Thank you from the AMN Healthcare team. Thanks for joining us today. Bye. Bye. This is the book with no pictures by BJ Novak. Brought to you by the AMN Healthcare Team. Black frog. This is a book with no pictures. It might seem like no fun to have someone read you a book with no pictures. It 
probably seems boring and serious, except. Here is how books work. Everything the words say, the person reading the book has to say, no matter what. That's the deal. That's the rule. So that means even if the words say, blork, wait, what? That doesn't even mean anything. Blurf? Wait a second. What? This isn't the kind of book I wanted to read. And I have to say, every word the book says? Uh-oh. I am a monkey who taught myself to read. Hey, I'm not a monkey. And now I am reading you this book with my monkey mouth in my monkey voice. That's not true. I am not a monkey. Yes, I am a monkey. Also, I am a robot monkey. What? And my head is made of blueberry pizza. Wait a second. Is this whole book a trick? Can I stop reading, please? No. And now it's time for me to sing you my favorite song. A song. Do I really have to sing a glug, glug, glug? My face is a bug. I eat ants for breakfast right off the rug. What? This book is ridiculous. Can I stop reading yet? No, there are more pages. I have to read the rest. This book is ridiculous. Can I stop reading yet? No, there are more pages. I have to read the rest. My only friend in the whole wide world is a hippo named Boo Boo Butt. Boo Boo Butt. And also, the kid I'm reading this book to is the best kid ever in the history of the entire world. Oh, really? And this kid is the smartest kid too, because the kid chose this book even though it had no pictures. Because kids know this is the book that makes grown-ups have to say silly things. And make silly sounds like, oh no, oh, oh no, here it comes. Oh my goodness, did I just say that? Please don't ever make me read this book again. It's so silly. In fact, it is completely and utterly preposterous. Next time, please, 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 please choose a book with pictures, please. Please, because this is just too ridiculous to read. The end. Bonk. I didn't want to say that. Warning, this book looks serious, but it is actually completely ridiculous. It, it, it is a kid trying to make you read this book. The kid is playing a trick on you. You will end up saying silly things and making everyone laugh and laugh. Don't say I didn't warn you. Thank you from the AMN Healthcare team. <laughs>